delivered. And as I was getting up, she grabbed me. She said, wait a minute now, wait a minute. She said, look at you. Look how bad you look. All swelled up. She said, you're going to draw attention to yourself. And you, they're going to laugh at you. I said, I'll kill them. In church, 800 people. I took them all on. Devils don't care. She said, look at your slippers. My feet were so big and swollen, and I only wear nine. They were like 13, so swelled up. And in order to go to church, never left the house like that. And in order to go to church that night, she talked me into it finally. And this evangelist, who had a powerful, powerful anointed ministry, ministered in so many areas, as a prophet and apostle, and you go on and name it, name it. And finally, she had to find me a big pair of slippers and cut them down the middle. So I could fit into them. She said, they'll look at your slippers. <laughs> oh, she was smart, wasn't she? They'll see them slippers. I said, all right, I'm going to sit here. And then most of you know the story as I went up to get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Can you imagine he gave an altar call for the Holy Ghost? I didn't even know what the Holy Ghost was. I thought it was something flying through the air. But I, God motivated me to go up. And glory be to God, I got delivered that night. I told him I want the Holy Ghost. He said, you don't want no Holy Ghost. You got devils, what you got. What? Nobody talks to me like that. And I went to choke that man and cussed all over that church. My Lord, it was a, it was a fight, but it's one I'm glad I lost. And I got delivered. I don't know what, to be, what it feels like to be delivered. And we've delivered a whole lot of people ever since. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Some of you sit here right now have been delivered by the power of God. It wasn't Joe Pansy because I can't heal a fly with a headache. But it was the Holy Ghost as we become vessels of honor to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Free to worship him. Yes. Hallelujah. That's what we're free to do. And some Amen. of you sit there like a bump on a log Amen. when you have the freedom to worship. You ought to be in another country where you lose your head if you worship God. <laughs> They'll lock you up in prison in some places I've been if you worship God. If you hold a meeting in public, they'll lock you up in a minute and punish you. And Boy, it's like being in a dungeon. I've been in them places. I know what they do. But you know what? Ah, glory be to God. Amen. Whew, the Lord delivered us out of the hands of the enemy. I'll never forget the time we was in Cuba. The place was packed. They could only have house churches. Wasn't allowed to have a church. And we went over there to preach, man. I'll tell you what. The place was so packed. It was elbow to elbow like this. It was a big house. Much bigger than this place right here. And they piled in there, three, four, five hundred people. I don't know what it was, but we couldn't even move. I, I could only hold a mic like this and preach like this. There were so many. <coughs> That's how hungry they were. They didn't care that it was 110 degrees. They didn't care that their lives were at risk. And they said, we're not allowed to, but would you like us to use a PA system? I thought for me, they said, we, we'll, we'll be arrested. I said, I don't think they got a jail big enough for all of us. I said, let's use it. <coughs> let's use it. Glory be to God. And they, they, we used it. And guess what? When God is on your side, now anything could have happened, but God chose that day, amen, He made a choice to spare us and deliver us from the soldiers that came by in big army trucks 10, 15, 20 of them, two, three trucks behind each other, machine guns in their hand, the, the, the PA system outside and inside blasting. They, walked, they rode by like they was deaf, dumb, and blind. Amen. Boy, did we have church. That was a miracle <coughs> to them people. People were falling, they had windows like this, but they had no money to buy windows, so they only had a window sill. They were sitting in the windows, and I was praying from here to there, and they were falling out in the spirit out of the windows. Glory be to God. Woo! Robert was with us. He said he ain't never seen nothing like that in his life. And it wasn't me, it was God honoring their faith. God can deliver anybody at any time, at any situation. 
Jesus. What are you going through right now? Say, Lord, I need deliverance. Mm, you came to the right place because God is in the deliverance business. Amen? Amen. He delivers us from Satan's grip, death, hell, and the grave, the Bible says. Glory be to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 54. Hallelujah. Death, even death, is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Then it tells you in verse 57. But thanks be to God which giveth us, 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 the believer, the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Can we give the Lord a praise offering Amen. right now? He even gave us victory over his death. You know why? Because we don't die. We just change our address. Hallelujah. Get that in your heart and head. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We need to praise the Lord for we all were imprisoned and bound in something. I just hope you ain't imprisoned and bound now. That would be a terrible thing to sit under the anointing of God, to go through services like we have, and to be a prisoner in your own mind or body and heart. How sad would that be? But Jesus came to set us free. Amen? That we don't have to stay bound any longer in bondage to sin or any such thing. Hallelujah. The devil was still, and he is still, a hard taskmaster. Yes. He don't like to take prisoners. He plays for keeps. He's got an agenda too. Wants to drag you to hell. You just got to make sure you don't let him. How? By serving Jesus Christ. Just by trusting the Lord. By loving Him. Putting Him first in your life. There won't be a devil within a block of you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to pray to the Lord. Hallelujah. You believe this stuff? Do you believe it? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 God, I believe it. I've experienced it. I live it. Hallelujah. One of the problems. Here's one of the problems. Just hope it ain't your problem. <clears throat> one of the problems is today there's just not enough trembling when it comes to the things of God. People, Christians don't tremble at the presence of the Lord like they should. They don't tremble in the presence of God like they need to. The holy fear has gone out of a lot of churches. Now they just got civic clubs with crosses on them. Not all of them, thank God, but a lot of them. Watered down gospel apologizing for the gospel. Some preachers, I hear them, they'll say, the days of signs and wonders and miracles and healings is over. That's they right. were. <laughs> Nobody talks in tongues no more. I said, nobody told me that because I still talk in tongues. <laughs> I still see signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen? Amen. Ooh. Holy fear is gone. Ichabod. Yes. And written on a lot of the church doors. Yes. What's that mean? Ichabod. Spirit the glory of the Lord has departed from this place. Yes. And God no longer hangs out there. Because he's not invited. Programs have taken his place. Yes. Hype has taken his place. Come on, somebody. Right. Feel good goosebump stuff taking his place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes to get blessed as much as I do, but I want it to be real. Yes. Amen. Yes. Got to be real. Don't you lay your hands on me, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff, and nothing happening. I ain't feeling nothing. I ain't feeling the presence of God, the power of God, the anointing of God coming off of you. Come on, come on. You just showboating. That's right. Yes. I want the real deal. Amen. 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 There you go, patty cake again. Come on. Hey. The devil is tremble more than church folks. You got scripture for that? Of course I do. Woo. My Lord. James chapter 2 verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God? Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. They've got some better sense than some folks do. They tremble because they know who Jesus is. 
They've experienced who Jesus is. He cast them out of heaven. He knows they're going to be cast into, into hell one day, in the lake of fire after that. But people struggle with the trembling before a holy God. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for all of us. Who shall not, listen, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? If he didn't hold back his son, he's not going to hold back anything that's lined up with his word and his will in your life. A lot of us are waiting on God. God said, no, you got that wrong. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. If he didn't hold back his son, let him go to the cross in your place. Took our sins on him. When we should have been on the cross, how much more will He give you all things to enjoy? Jesus. Now see, uh, you got to realize what, what all things is. Not talking about material things necessarily. That's a small part of it for sure. But He's talking mostly about spiritual things. How hungry are you for spiritual things? He takes care of the rest. He'll bless you where you need to be blessed. He'll provide what you need to be provided for. He'll strengthen what's weak. He wants to know and see in you if you'll put Him first. Then He'll bless you in all kinds of areas. How many know what I'm talking about? Amen. He said, freely give us all things. Freely. He don't hold nothing back. He's not a stingy God. Hmm. We might be stingy. Should I go there? Oh. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Lord have mercy. Whew. God allowed His only begotten Son to go to the cross for you and you and you and every one of you. And for whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Don't tell me my God isn't love. Don't tell me my God isn't good. Don't tell me my God can't bless Amen. Give him some praise in the house of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Shout for the glory of God. God delivered Jesus up. I said, God delivered Jesus up so that you, Jesus, can deliver you up out of where you at. If you're not happy where you're at, the Lord stands ready to lift you up. You've heard me say it before. Let me say it again. It needs to be repeated. Nothing changes until you have a heart to change, a will to change, and watch things change. But if you're satisfied with the same old, same old, mucked down, hmm, stuck in a rut, dry bones, hmm, 